I wanted to talk a little bit about Hi guys, how is everyone? It's Murray Mint here. It's been a good one. Back to the grind tomorrow. I can do my, um, I've got rehearsals tomorrow. I would love to say that I'm, you know, learning lines well, but I am taking a bit of time. Um, but we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm just moving you back a little bit. Not that I don't want you to be close, but my um, my skin, I've just got out the shower. Guys, right, answer me this question. On a night, if you go in the shower, I go in the shower on a morning and a night. If you go in the shower on a night, the question is, do you put deodorant stroke anti antiperspirant anti anti on? Um, Please, will you let us know, will you like and comment and let me know the crack um, because the reason, because I'm, I'm, I'm a bit torn on what's the best thing to do because if you put it on before you go to bed then you're sweating in bed, your sweat's going to go inward because it's trapped so it'll like look for a different part of the body to exit, that's what I'm thinking anyway, I'm not too sure. Yes, yeah, so I don't put it on on a night, but I do on a morning when I've come out of the shower. Ready for the day ahead. Right. So guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about, I, I believe it's in everybody, but I believe it's different in everybody as well. So I'm talking about um, fear and anxiety. Now fear to some people is the thought of maybe going on a roller coaster, the fear you get from, you know, um, heights or the fear you get or the fear of wasps or, you know, like that sort of fear. But like the fear associated to anxiety for me um, is a different type of fear um, and I believe from talking to my um, I'm laughing because this crap is going berserk fear and anxiety um, go hand in hand um, for me anyway and I'm hoping people will, will relate to this it's a bit of a sensitive subject and it's, I don't think it's quite easy for people to talk about because people don't realise that it's happening to them but sometimes it can happen if you've drank alcohol um, the night before um, and at work we used to call it beer fear so like the next day you'll be like a bit paranoid a bit you know yeah a bit shaky not really wanting to interact with the world but for some people that is a reality every day for me, I used to, and I still can be consumed with fear. And um, we've all got different things that we're frightened about. But what happens when you're just frightened of life in general? You know, you might not be frightened of um, confrontation or, you know, standing up for yourself. But you could be frightened to walk into a room full of people. Or you might not want to take your coat off in front of people or you know that sort of fear like people don't realize that's what it is and it stops people from doing so much in life for me it's it you know i can only speak for me really for a long for such a long time i've haven't liked obviously the way i looked now in hairdressers where I've used to work in in the past I would kind of position myself round the corner from things so that when people came in that I didn't know they wouldn't see us but when people did know us I wasn't bothered 
I think it's just that initial acceptance and you just for me I just wanted to be accepted and I was obviously a little bit frightened that I wasn't going to be accepted but that was a, a fear an unfounded fear um, yeah people pleasing that's another fear related thing so I would people please to um, to kind of hope that they would like us in the hope um, you know not to feel that empty lonely feeling um, and that was fear based fear related when I was young what I would do is I would um, I wouldn't kind of join in things because I was fearful I would fall over or I would and I would not be able to get up or um, I remember going to Temple Park Leisure Centre when I was really young um, and one of the you know when you're young like like four or five you don't really you see other people like older people as adults now probably in hindsight is it hindsight 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 hind ironside hinds baked beans no um looking back this there was a guy at temple park leisure center and uh, i remember him looking at us and being like why are you so skinny obviously i'm not now but he was like why are you so skinny and i was like like I was only really little, so I was like, I don't know, like, why am I skinny? Um, but that's the sort of thing that makes you kind of start looking at yourself differently. I wonder what the age is between giving a shit and not giving a shit. Like, when you're really little and the other kids are playing with you and stuff, and you're like, whoo, um, like one of the gang... And then you get older and you've got all these expectations of being like a certain way or fitting in or and then that seems to consume you. The fear consumes you from school, yeah. And I probably I kind of wished I was different at school, but um hopefully I could make some sort of amends to people in school. Um, so yeah, you, we've got this fear, we'll run on fear, but we don't know that it's called fear when we're young. Um, and then that goes right the way through your teenage years. Um, and then it goes to your young adult years and Acceptance is like a big thing um, for me about being accepted and fitting in and years ago I used to get a lot of parking tickets. Now this is how strong fear is. The reason I got parking tickets was because I was fearful that my pride would get like so basically I had a car I had a disabled badge for the car I worked in town but if I was with anyone or if I knew I was going to be with anyone I wouldn't put the disabled badge on because I was embarrassed because I was fearful what they would think because I didn't understand what disability was. I didn't understand, I just was so consumed with trying to fit in and trying to be so-called normal that I would rather have a parking ticket and let, and the consequences of that was I had to go to court. You know, I, I, I got my, my family, my dad, into so much trouble. Um, he would have to pay because I just wasn't in a position to pay but that's how that is how strong fear is you know 
I was more frightened of how I looked than the consequences of getting a parking ticket. So fear for me is something that we need to walk through. So I'll give you a bit of an example of what I mean. The saying that I like is fear knocked on the door, courage answered the door and there was no one there, which obviously means, you know, try these, try new things out and um, just do it and see what happens. I mean, what have you got to lose? And um, this is what I'm doing with going back to university. It's, um, it's new challenges. It's learning to grow and, you know, I am fearful. I'm fearful of a lot of things, but I'm also confident that if I try these things, you know, it, the advantages will weigh out the fear. And that's, that's what I'm going to do. So guys, thank you. I hope that if the next time you feel fear, mind you saying that, there's nothing worse than the fear. If you were standing on the, the roller coaster at Metroland, when people used to spit off the roller coaster, it was disgusting. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, let's walk through the fear. Let's try new things. Please comment or like, please like, share. Let's, you know, let's try and make fear not as powerful. Let us do things together. Right guys, thanks very much for your time. Have a good week. Laters.